Hello friends, hope everything is fine with you guys. So in this lecture, we are going to take a look at a very important palette or you can say panel and that is the stroke panel. Yes, friend. So for this, let's go to the window menu and let's find our stroke palette. Here it is. Let's click on it and see. Well, so this is the stroke palette, right? Now, how much you can see, it depends actually. You may see like this or you may see like this. Okay. Now, what you can do is if you see uh, it like this, then you can see here the heading, right? Stroke just beside it, double click. That's it. Or you can do one thing. Let's click on this drop down kind of arrow and click on show options and see then you will see some options or you can hide some options show the options okay you can play around with all day <laughs> okay so now let's understand what is the stroke palette now we have already seen how we can provide a stroke right so first of all let's uh, create a rectangle just like this oh my god what are these first of all let me create a new document yeah you will understand it better and if you were thinking that well this is crazy well we are going to make it crazy yeah so don't get afraid just be patient we will learn everything let's click on ok now let's create a rectangle using the rectangle tool let's provide a fill color say this one and now you already know that uh, how we can provide a stroke it's there the stroke color is black by default let's increase its stroke width you can increase it from here or from here also so let's come here let's use this one let's increase it to around say 20 points yep and here you will see few options cap corner align stroke now this cap is this is the line cap it is applicable only for open path not for closed path and this corner this attribute or you can say yeah this attribute or this option is for those shapes which are having corners and align stroke well we can provide three types of stroke one is center which is default then we can apply the stroke inside let's click on it and see the stroke is now applied inside or you can make it outside see now the stroke has been applied outside your fill or outside your object you can say now let's come to this corner point so here we can have three types of corner points the default is miter join or meter join then I mean this is the default this you already know next we have round join see now the corners got rounded and then we have bevel join see now the corners are beveled now for understanding this cap option we need to play with the line tool let's draw a line now here this align stroke option is disabled I mean the other two options are disabled and only the default one is checked because it is just a line and uh, also since this is not a closed path these will be disabled i will show you yeah uh, using pen tool also we will draw a shape so we will come to it later on let's select this line for now and now let's play with these cap options so by default it's butt cap and then we have round cap and let's click on it and see now the endpoints are rounded and then we have 
projecting cap now you may think that this projecting cap and this butt cap are same but it's not just take a look this is the butt cap which is the default one let's click on projecting cap and see the length of the stroke got increased but not the shape see here yeah uh, i mean uh, not the core shape see here the anchor point one anchor point is here another is here now what happens with butt cap is the stroke is applied only to the length from start of the shape to the end of the shape but what projecting cap does is it extends the stroke a little bit okay so this is about cap corner align stroke and now let's create a shape using paint tool say for example this is an open path that's it let's leave it like that only and yeah and now see since this is an open path we don't have align stroke options i mean the default one is there of course but not other two and here we have these two options available you know why because we have end points so for that we can use line cap and also we have few corners so we can apply this corner point option also okay now let's select this object this rectangle and let's click on dashed line see here friend you have the option of providing dashed line now by default let me provide here the default values and let me delete this one and this one also yeah and also let's delete this cap option so by default illustrator provides some kind of default value to it see here now it is having a 12 point dash and a 12 point gap in between each dash right let's do one thing let's add our explicit gap option let's make it say 20 point and now you will see that we have a gap of 20 points between these 12 point stroke you can say or dashed line you can say well i don't think uh, let's make it meter join only or miter join whatever you can say now for what we have these dashes and gap options do you know can you think actually you can provide multiple dashes yes friend to your stroke let's provide a dash of say five point let's leave the gap option see what just happened so first we are having a 12 point dash and then we are having a 20 point gap see here friend well let me add a gap value here also explicitly it will help us to understand see here friend well let's make it 10 point not uniform gapping let's make it 10 point c so first we are having say uh, let's take a look from this end okay first we are having a 12 point dash then we are having a 20 point gap then we are having a 5 point dash and then again we are having a 10 point dash i mean 10 point gap and then again it's starting like 12 point dash then 20 point gap then 5 point dash <coughs> sorry 5 point dash then 10 point gap now again you can add another dash let's make it say 20 point and gap also let's make it a 30 point now see now see so first a 12 point then 20 point gap then 5 point uh, 
dash 10 point gap 20 point dash 30 point gap so yes friend you can provide multiple dashes to your shapes i mean to your strokes yep uh, to your shape which are having strokes <laughs> Okay, now here we have an option of arrowheads, right? But it's kind of disabled. You know why? Because where it will apply. Now, this arrowheads will be applied to open paths. Yes, friend. Let's select this one. And see, now automatically you can see that uh, this arrowhead option is kind of enabled, right? Now you can provide some arrowhead options. See here, Illustrator provides you multiple options to play around with. Let's select this hand. <laughs> See, let's uh, decrease the stroke weight. Yeah. So yeah, this is the start point. Okay. This one is for the start point. And this one is for the end point, end arrow. Let's select this one. Let's apply this arrowhead and this one to the end. And also you have the option to play around with this weight profile. Let's select the object. Let's make it none. To understand this width profile we have worked with it uh, previously also so I think you will get the concept so that's it guys I hope that you have learned that what is this stroke palette why this is used and how we can use it and uh, let me tell you one thing you don't have to work with this stroke panel also you know what Let's come here and let's click on this uh, stroke option here and there you go. What are these? Oh my God. Well, you are familiar with all of these, right? Because we have just covered the stroke panel and see, see the similarities. Let's place these twin brothers side by side <laughs> and let's take a look. See, they're twin brothers only, right? Yeah so okay so we have seen that we can provide uh, stroke weight here we can provide line cap i mean we have line cap options and this is applicable only to open paths and corner this is applicable for open paths also closed paths also but it should have a corner then we have align stroke and we have seen that by default it's center and we can apply it outside or inside this is for inside and this is for outside and yeah uh, for corner points which one is the default one meter join or miter join and for the cap which is the default one the butt cap okay guys and uh, here we have seen that we can provide dashed line also and we have the option to provide multiple dashes and also we can provide explicit gap values here right and we know how it works and also we have an option of arrowheads and again this is applicable only for open paths not for closed path okay guys so that's it here i'm concluding this lecture see you in the next lecture till then have fun take care and another thing if you have an issue understanding something please feel free to let me know Thank you guys.